To install Python, first we require to download executable installer. Now open browser and type www.python.org slash downloads. In this page, you can find downloads tab where you can choose platforms like Windows operating, Mac OS, etc. My machine is a Windows 10 operating system which is 64 bit operating. Now click on Windows. Here we can see n number of versions released by the Python. So if I want to download, so I can choose the latest 3.10.1 which is can use for above Windows 7. It cannot use for Windows 7 or Windows XP. Suppose if you want to download for a Windows XP, then you can scroll down and you can find which is suitable for Windows XP. Here, suppose if you want a Windows 7, so you can choose here operating system of Windows XP and you have to download. Now my is a Windows 10, so I can download a latest version called 3.10.1. Here you can find embedded package and Windows installer of 64 bits. So I will choose this one. Then it has to go to confirm that you want to save this file. Click on save the file. Now you can check that in downloads whether it is downloaded or not by after downloading then open in the folder then double click this executable file then the prompt is going to appear here you can see that two option install now and customize installation in below we can see two checkboxes here install launcher for all users and add python path so it is necessary that you have to check this box to add a path for execution then afterwards i want to click on install then it is going to asking a permission to allow this app i'm clicking as then the progression will going to proceed here it has to go to download all the libraries then it's going to execute each and every command available in python let's wait for to download all the necessary requirements here it is going to download all the suits like pip commands also it has been downloading from executable file now you can see that after successfully completion message click on close after downloading open the command prompt and just type python space hyphen hyphen version you're going to check the version of the python now if i want to go go to the command prompt just type python and press enter now it's going to enter into three arrow marks now you can type whatever commands to run in the python let's look two plus three then you will get the result five and if i want to print my name just type your name and enter then print yes so it's working now look at how to download ide called integrated development environment for python i can suggest sublime text is good faster execution and lightweight to download this open browser and type www.sublimetext.com slash download here you can find a version for mac os windows linux also and this is the latest version right now it's a sublime text for if you want a previous version you can see like sublime text 2 sublime text 3 now here it's automatically going to take a portable version like i don't want to check it's a 64 bit or the 32 bit so just click here automatically the download is going to happen it is going to prompt a message that one do you want to save this file just click save then you can see here it has been downloaded 
just open in the folder and double click it then it's going to ask a permission do you want to install just click yes then it is going to select the path way to install then click next I want to add export the context menu just I'm skipping here I'm clicking next install so it is going to dip download all the dependency and just click on finish button after successfully installing the sublime text let's look at the beauty of sublime text here to check the beauty let's create a one file in the python so control is a shortcut to create a new file next i want to create a one variable called s which is string type i want to return my name here in this in the next line what i will do i want to print this variable s now you can see that one there is a no beautification of the code if i want to get the beautification of code just save this file with name called one dot python the extension of python is py after saving you can clearly observe what a beautification scan to run this code we require to build this program the shortcut of building this program is control b and i want to show you how to build this one so one of the beauty of this uh, id is we have a, a build system here you can execute any number of programming language like you can run c programming c plus plus programming java r ruby etc so no need of selecting that particular programming it has already tick box as a automatic so it will take care now what i will do just in the tool click build and you can get the output here next i am going to perform some other operation like i will take a variable called x as 2 and y as 3 then i am taking z is equal to x plus y which is summing of uh, both x plus y in the next line what i will do I want to print the result Z. Then save this file, go to tools, click on Ctrl B. So you get the result file. So this is a beauty in the sublime, which is very faster execution. It's a very lightweight when compared to other IDs.